Okay. One more. A tripler. How long has it been since you had a tripler? I'm in. <laughs> so again, I'm on I'm on the site. It, crazy influx of people doing these YouTube react requests as a subscriber. It's awesome. I'm going down. I'm looking for a lifetime member this one. Remember, if you're a lifetime member, you get this badge. And uh, I see I see uh, Jerk Kagan threw a Bob Marley up there. But uh, this Tommy Emmanuel catches my eye. I'm going to come up and follow. And, uh, don't worry. We're going to do some Bob soon. All right? But I haven't done Tommy yet. I've done a Bob once. And so G. Pelto, let's see. Gordon Pelto says Tommy does his rendition of Mason Williams' Classical Gas. Just amazing, blazing fast. Now, I'm going to open this up on the tube here. 20 million views, Jesus. It should. You know what? It should. When I was in GIT, when I was in GIT, I was in uh, a harmony and theory class taught by a bass instructor. I don't remember his name, but he... When Tommy Emanuel came, he said, we're canceling class and we're all going because you're going to learn more about not just the instrument, but the industry, music business, how to be a personality, how to be a performer, um, so many things. Uh, and it is way more important than anything I'll ever teach you. Let's go downstairs and we're going to see Tommy Emanuel. And I was like, sold. Didn't know who he was, right? And he is a barrage. It is blunt force trauma. He is a force of nature to be reckoned with from Australia. You know, the sounds on his guitar. I don't think classical gas, I've seen him do this before. Not this video. I certainly haven't learned this. This is ice cold, guys. Um, uh, but, you know, he does things with the brushes. That's why you see all the marks on his guitar. Just what he talks about in between songs, the, the way he's found a way to tour as a one-man band and created the different pickups and stuff on it. it. He is he is unbelievable. And I believe to this day, he's the only person, or maybe there's one other, but I think he's the only one that Chet Atkins gave the moniker a certified guitar player. He's Chet Atkins certified. So you know he's basically the baddest dude on the planet. Um... And I know this is going to be case in point. Let's just do it. Hit the button. And, um, you know, we'll clean up the blood later. That's an A run if I've ever seen one. But he's he's not hybrid. He's got the he's got the thumb pick and everything on that. Right? Then that minor. Yeah. Walking down. I love that. I love that that G D over F sharp F E. Just major, 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 major. Love it. Just, just so much accentuation with the extensions. You know, the, the, you know, the, the flat seven and stuff. Just, I can nerd out on him forever. Again, just, 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 just. G, G over F sharp, F, E, 7, A, minor, B over G, C, over F, A, D, Raise your root, D diminished. One of these, same thing, it's all movable. It's all gravy, right? D over F sharp in the bass. G, B7.
right? And then, right? Making it, making it your full diminished. All minor thirds, stack it up. Sorry, there we are. Harmonics. Love it, B and E here, B and E here. So it's so killer. I, I could, you could spend a year breaking this stuff down, but all of the voice leading with the bass and the melody on top, and it's just so clean and having all your inversions down and it's just absolutely perfect. It is, it, it drives me insane to see people. To, it's really just him. That's what I'm talking about, B flat, you know, B flat seven, two, right? Raise the root, now you got, same deal here, all, all minor thirds, right? It's just, there's so much great melodic and harmonic movement that are just completely in tandem. And he's doing the bass, the middle, and the treble all at the same time. <sighs> Gets the blood flowing. Yeah, all that, 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 what's that high note? It's like a, so it's like a one to a four, but that minor. Do it over to D. It, it's just, it's just so perfect. Every little piece of it. You know that D seven. So A minor. D seven. So it's like two to five. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That it's it's like it wants to be B7, but it's not, it's B diminished. Two, you still have your G sharp and your D in here, right? But then move this to A. So you get that fifth one movement, but you're already pedaling off of these. So like you're implying the resolution, I mean, the resolution's already there that you're implying, but then you get there. It's so much more interesting and different than just saying B7 to E7, right? Cause you still get that fifth one movement, but the other tones are already acting like a pedal tone. They're already there, you know? It's such a cool, different thing, a different way to use that movement. This is gonna be a forever long video. Look, look at that. He's an E, he's mixing G and G sharp. Use the video, people. It's not cheating. He's actually doing it. Someone's actually using the camera. Do it, right? E. Yeah, yeah, that little, that, that. It's F over G here, but then it goes F minor. Love those moves. 
those. I love those. Yeah, that, that, uh, that, uh. <laughs> those, those right there, you know, those, those are. Slow down, Michael. It's not clean. Slow down. All it is is root position major triad, first inversion, right? And just bump it up. Right? That's what I love about him. He is so profoundly major third based. Leading tones everywhere into into the heavens with leading tones right just there's so much you can do if you just really digest major harmony it's why i drill it to death in my course right because if, if you just understand basic fundamentals of major thirds and what creates chord function you can do this at will you can just you can just make chord changes that get to your end result, you know, wherever you want to get to, just by going leading tone, leading tone, leading tone, leading tone. So push here, pull there, push here, pull there. It's almost always done with major thirds. It's just, and simple basic triads. It's all you're seeing him do here. And he's gotten back up to E. Look. See? See? He's such somebody that if it sounds good, it is good. Moving chromatic parts to create tension and doing them in a step-by-step -step fashion to reach the next inversion. It's just, he's, he's, he's here and then, right? Back up to E, you know, but he's, all he's doing is. But now here you're in seven again you were here and now you're here like jesus what's happening but muscle through taking a major or minor third up and there you are again g sharp diminished which is the top three five seven of e seven bam got it out how good that jump was keeping that pedal tone on that uh, on that B with his thumb perfection perfection watch this watch this I know he's going into a piece of a cover here but check this watch the mechanics you catch that? Thumb is an anchor stuck at the bottom of the ocean, right? Watch. See how fast that was? That is 20,000 hours, 30,000 hours of practice. That is not 10. That is the wood and the wires are his fingernails. You see?
See what I'm talking about? And then the same deal, right? And then going down, and then grabbing that, that triad, remember we talked about before? Major triad, major triad, root position, first inversion, third in the bass. So, so, second inversion, major triad, right? Right? E, B, E, B, E, B, B, A. Then moving over again, major triad, sussing it out, doing the four that isn't in key. It's all right. It sounds good, it is good. D and A, and then going down and getting that E. I guess it could be in D. We, we can be, we can be, we can be an E-mixo here for a moment. But anyway, that's not the point. Watch his thumb stay locked in there. So you got... I mean, I literally can't do it. I got these stubby little thumbs and... But if I had 20,000 to 30,000 hours, I bet you I could get my thumb to do it. Rocket fuel. Watch it. With the picking, the ba ba ra ba ra ba ra ba ra Piece of minor there. God damn it. just in an inversion, right? Same exact thing, just in an inversion. <sighs> I mean, is he the best guitar player alive? I mean, I think you could make that. I, I, I mean, <laughs> at what he does, at the understanding on the instrument of what you can do with just basic harmonic function, I'm going with yeah. I'm giving it to Tommy. I'm giving it. I'm giving it to the Australian. I am. That just you have a D, right? D over F sharp. What do you have here? That is first inversion. That is your major third, your F sharp in the bass. So he's basically alternating that shape with having a fifth in the bass like that. So it just moves. So when you're watching him go down like this. Oh. Yeah, okay, so look. So right there, he's coming in. That's a D major chord, right? What this is, is you got D, or sorry, B major. You got a B here, but you got one, two, three in the bass, and then you're holding what? The triad up here, right? Starts there, and then goes down. And then, yeah, so it's to the fifth, the leading tone. So is that, is that the, is that, is that, with the seventh in the bass? Yeah, so.
it's unbelievably good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just, it's... <sighs> so, see, he's finding a way to do this, that... Like, that's, that's what he's trying to do, and he's finding... How to do it. And, and so he can end back up on that G over F sharp. I'm oh, sorry, E over G sharp. E, major triad, right? Take your, F sh your G sharp, put it in the bass. So all he's finding a way to do is, please Lord, take me from my five, my, my B, with my third in the bass, that's D sharp, my leading tone of E, I'm trying to get back there. The major third of your five is your leading tone, your seventh of, of, of your one chord. This, that, that. That's why that works. This is a big ass five to one turnaround. Finishes on. That's what's happening there. That's what a basic understanding, but a commitment to an application of basic major based music theory, diatonic music theory will get you. You can do that with just that. That's just five to one, trying to get D sharp to E. A chromatic bass line, Circle of fifths going down five, one, five, one, five, one, five, one, five, one, five, one. Chromatically trying to get from your five to your one. Australian country style. Sorry about that. The camera cut out. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, here's the thing. Here's the key takeaway with him. He knows the function of every single note that he's playing. He's always voice leading. He's moving around the progressions, the fretboard, thinking thirds and sevenths, but mostly thirds. You can tell he's thinking chord function everywhere. Everything he does has a harmonic purpose to it. It is not regurgitated licks over and over and over and over again. He is connecting the harmony and the melody wildly, but completely at will based on the movement of basic major triads. Dude's a total third hunter, the best in the game. It is an absolute pleasure to watch Tommy Emmanuel. I haven't watched him in years, but after making so many courses about third hunting and all of that, and having this be proposed for React as from one of my subscribers and to watch that and have that reaffirmation that I'm just, I'm on the right path with teaching how to use basic basic music theory leading tones major thirds to move around harmony and connect melodies it's just totally it's just it's just perfect i remember feeling this exact way when i saw him at git and to have it again i, I mean it's just i'm thrilled i'm so thrilled with this with him i mean this is why he's the certified guitar player the dude knows the function of every note he's playing and does it with passion and feeling and he's loose and he's he's his chops are unbelievable and, and all the things but like that's what's so great about this community 
We're sharing music. We're getting inspired, motivated, helping each other to keep picking the thing up and getting better. I hope you'll click the first link in the description and join me. It supports me. It's 10 bucks. It makes me do this stuff. Or it allows me to do this free stuff. Um, but you get all my lessons, you get all my courses, and you get a community of dedicated people showing cool stuff like this, getting amped up, working together. And yeah, I love you guys. I love you guys. Get ready for more subscriber requests. We're going to do a marathon of them to say thank you to all of you have just jumped on the train with me um, this past week because it's been, it's like been hundreds of you. So it's like the coolest thing in the world. Amazing. Love you. See you. Tommy Emmanuel. You know you're the GOAT. It's true. It's totally true.